Therefore, one has to understand the, what is the meaning of these different types of activities. Karma no pi bodhabham, bodhabham cha, vikarmana. Vikarmana means if you cannot work which will satisfy Krishna, that is vikarma. That is vikarma, forbid. Because the real purpose of working is to satisfy Krishna. He is the center. He is the center of all activities. Sakarmana tamabhat samsiddhi lavate nara. Simply by satisfying the central point, Krishna, then you get samsiddhi. It doesn't matter whether you are a sudra or brahmana or engineer or lawyer. The real point is how to satisfy Krishna. But that education is lacking. So our Krishna consciousness movement is teaching how to serve Krishna from any position, it doesn't matter. Whether you are a Brahmana, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, lawyer, engineer, or film actor, or anything, it doesn't matter. But whether you are trying to satisfy Krishna, that is the point. If you have no such sense how to satisfy Krishna, then it is Sramayeva Hi Kevalam. Dharma Sanistita Pumsa Vishakshina Kathasuja Nutpadayadura Tingedi Sramayeva Hitevala. This is simply level. It has no meaning because you are creating your own formation, next body, another body. Then that is your responsibility. You are acting like a hawk, you get the body of a hawk. You are acting like a monkey, you get the body of a monkey. If you are acting like a god, demigod, you get your body. Karmana daivanatrena. Therefore one should know what class of work I shall be engaged in. That there is easy processes. It doesn't matter according to your qualification. You engage yourself in any work, but try to satisfy Krishna. Then your life is successful. Other it is samayiva hikevala. Therefore Krishna says, Karmana api bodha bham bodha bham cha vikarmana. Vikarmana means sense gratification. I explained this verse from Bhagavatam last night. Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma. This vikarmana is explained in the Bhagavatam. Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma. What is that vikarmana? Jat indriya pritai aprinoti. Anything which is done for sense gratification, that is bhikarma. So people are engaged in bhikarma everywhere, all over the world. The education, the scientific advancement, culture, everything. Now culture means some dancing. Now it has become a culture. Now what is that dancing? That sense gratification. Boys and girls dancing, ball dance. Sense gratification. That is vikarma. But here, the same dancing before the deity is bhakti. The same dancing. You dance in a theatrical performance, in a platform, that is also dancing. And here, in this stage, before the deity, if you are dancing with Hare Krishna Mahamantra, then you are making bhakti, progress. And that dancing means you are becoming entangled in your karma. Because that dancing is sense gratification, vikarmana, nunam pramatta kuruti vikarma. Jadindriya prita e apnati. The Rishabde says, na sadhu manne, this is not good. Jato apnana yam asanapi klesa de asadeha. Asanapi, this body is not permanent. It's still asanapi. Although it is not permanent, but few years only, it plays at all, simply full of miserable condition. Because you have committed, executed vikarma, therefore you have got this body. It doesn't matter whether it is rich body or a poor body. Everyone has to undergo the threefold miserable condition of life. When typhoid is there, 
It does not discriminate that here is a rich body, I shall give him less pain. No. When the typhoid is there, either your body is rich body or poor body, you have to suffer the same pain. When you are in, within the womb of your mother, you have to suffer the same pain. Either you become in the queen's womb or in the cobbler's wife's womb. That packed up situation. But they do not know. Janma Mittagara. There are so many sufferings. In the process of birth, there are so many sufferings in the process of birth and death and old age. A rich man or poor man, when we are old, we have to suffer so many invalidity. Similarly, Janma Mittu Jara Bhadi, Jara, Jara and Bhadi and Mittu. So, we are not conscious about the suffering position of this material body. Shastra says, don't accept again any material body. Nasadu manne. This is not good that you are repeatedly getting this material body. Nasadu manne. Jato atmano. Atmano, the soul is encased in this material body. Jato atmanaya. Asanapi. Of the temporary aspect of this body. Klesado. Asadi. Ha. So, if we want to stop this miserable condition of getting another material body, then we must know what is karma, what is bhikarma. That is Krishna's proposal. Karma no bi bodhabhaṁ, bodhabhaṁ to bhikarma, na? Akarma nashta bodhabhaṁ. Akarma na means there is no reaction. Reaction. Karma, if you do nice work, it has got reaction. It has nice body, nice education, nice family, nice riches. This is also nice. We take it as nice. We want to go to the heavenly planet. But we do not know that even in the heavenly planet there is the janma mittu jarabhadi. Therefore Krishna does not recommend that you go to the heavenly body. He says, abrahma bhavana lokaan punaravati no even if we go to the Brahma Loka, still the reputation of birth and Jadgatyana Nivartanti Taddhama Paramamma. Jadgatyana Nivartanti. But you do not know that there is a Dhamma. If you samarada, if we can promote ourselves to that Dhamma, then no Nivartanti Jadgatyana Nivartanti Taddhama Paramamma. In another place, Tartadi, Hang Punar Janma, Naiti, Mameti. So people have no information that Krishna, or the Supreme Lord, He has got His place, and anyone can go. How one can go? Jati Deva Prata Deman, Pitri Injanti, Pitri Prata, Bhuteja Janti Bhutani, Madhjaji Nopi Janti Ma. If one becomes devoted to my worship, my business, bhakti yoga, he comes to me. In another place he says, bhakta mama vijanati, java understand. Therefore our only business is to understand Krishna. Jagya arthe karma, this is akarma. Here it is said, akarmana api bodhabhyam, akarmana sta bodhabhyam. Akarma means without reaction. Yet if we act for our sense gratification, the reaction is, just like a soldier is killing, is getting gold medal. The same soldier, when comes home, if he kills one man, his hand. Why? He can say in the court, Sir, when I was fighting in the battlefield, I killed so many, I got gold medal. And why you are hanging me just now? Because you have done for your own sense gratification. And that you did for government sense. Therefore, any karma, if you do it for Krishna's satisfaction, that is your karma. No? It has no reaction. But if you do anything for your own sense gratification, you will have to suffer the resultant action, good or bad. Therefore, Krishna says, karma no api bodhabhaṁ bodhabhaṁ ca vikarmana akarmanastra bodhabhaṁ gahana karmana. It is very difficult to understand what kind of action you should do 
Therefore, we have to take direction from Krishna, from this Shastra, from Guru, then our life will be successful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.